Hi, good morning or good evening to all of you. Um, it's evening for me and um, before going to sleep, I would like to share some thoughts uh, about things that can shock you as a foreigner. So, um, number one, skin tax. Well, this... Uh, this doesn't happen much in the cities like Manila and Cebu and especially in the malls uh, because the prices are fixed. But this usually happened when you are in the provinces of the Philippines. So what happens is that they usually double the price. So for example, you go to a fish market or um, vegetable market. There's no fixed price in that. They they can adjust the price according to who buys so yeah for the foreigners um they usually double the price so sadly yeah sadly that happens but i'm going to give you a tip on how you can avoid that um simply by learning a little bit of the language so if you are in the Visayas region you can learn a little bit of the language by for example saying know the language and how to greet good morning and good evening so maayong buntag maayong hapon and salamat thank you and um this is very important how much so learn how to say pila that it, that means how much and when you are speaking the local language the locals actually love that and they might give you a little bit of the skin tax like not so much instead of double they're just gonna probably just uh, not gonna charge you much so yeah that really can make a difference so learn the local language um, because when you're learning the language, for them, um, for them, they will not think that you are new. You're not a tourist anymore. You're trying to be local. So that would make a difference in your negotiation with the prices. Number two shocking thing is the, I think I have mentioned this before in my previous videos, the handsomeness level. So if you are handsome level one, level two, level three in your country, when you arrive here in the Philippines, you're going to be handsome level seven, eight, nine, ten. And even if you just wake up in the morning and you go to the store and you're like, I just woke up, you still look handsome to the locals. So yeah, don't be shocked on that one. Something that you would... Um, get used to because even if just you woke up in the morning you are you already like you still look handsome to to us to Filipinos number three shocking thing are the very friendly locals yes I find this I add this up to the list because I saw how how the foreigners sometimes misunderstand this like naturally guys we are we are very friendly the filipinos are so friendly and uh, sometimes the foreigners misunderstand this one and they they think sometimes that we are flirting but when you are already um, staying here for a while you can already know the difference between um being flirty and being just warm and friendly because yeah there's a lot of uh people here including girls that will really smile at you and say hello not all of them are flirting with you they are just really very friendly it's natural for us but yes i said if you have been here for a long time you can already make out a difference between being flirty and being friendly number four the filipino time and i think i've mentioned this in the previous video that um, Filipino time means mm, mostly are not on time. And um, this comes, this might be shocking to you, um, especially if you're from a country where you have to really like go to the place 
to the agreed time a few minutes before the agreed time. Here, um, if you agreed to meet at 8, then expect some of them to come until 8.59. That is still counted for them. And number five, the last but not the least, is the no knife in the restaurants. And sometimes there's not even spoon and fork, so you have to use your hands. <laughs> so, yeah, um, in, in here in the cities, in uh, Manila and Cebu, um, there are still a lot of restaurants that has knives, but in the provinces, no, don't expect any knife. And even if you are going to ask for a knife, they will give you a knife that is a cutting knife, not the table knife. So this comes as a shock to some of the foreigners here. And especially in some um, areas in the provinces where they really don't have, they will not offer you spoon and fork, like nothing. So sometimes you just have to wash your hands. Uh, like a place uh, called Sibaan in Valencia where there's none of that. So you have to just wash your hands or you can bring a plastic gloves for you to use for your meal. So yeah, those are the five shocking things. And if you have uh, any experience here in the Philippines and there are things that really like shock you or comes as a shock to you, kindly comment in the comments box i would like to know what shocks you the most when you are here in the philippines so thank you so much for being with me before going to sleep i hope that you're gonna have a good day or a good night wherever you are and thank you so much for your continuous support in my channel and as i said i am super excited for my channel to be monetized as I would be able to help more the orphan kids and the stray animals. So I hope you will support me in that and you will help me in that simply by viewing and interacting and sharing my videos to others. As simple as that. And you are already making a difference to some human beings and animals. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again. Have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. Bye.